and welcome back to Speedrun Ragnarok, hosted by the RPG Valkyries, raising money and awareness for Take This. Uh, coming up now is A Legacy of the Wizard by I Am Starbird. So I'm going to pass this over to them and uh, enjoy the upcoming run. Hello, everybody, and welcome. Uh, hopefully you guys won't get tired of me by the end of this, because i got two more runs after this. Hopefully not after this run, exactly. <laughs> I hope everyone is enjoying the marathon so far. I'm Starbird, and I'm joined by my good friend, Dragondark. Hello, 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 and here's another Legacy of the Wizard speed run. Yes, this is a marathon previously. <laughs> <laughs> I'm already talking over you. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Um, this run's gonna be a little bit different than uh, the godlike runs that Dragon Dark does, because this is actually not gonna use the pause jump mechanic. Um, so we're gonna see every character, including our good pal Pochi. Oh boy, Pochi. Pochi Everyone love. Loves Pochi. Yes, we do get the Pochi love here. So, um, so Dragon Dark's gonna do a lot of the talking, especially when I'm doing manipulations or attempting to do manipulations, if I can remember how to do them. Um, so, I will hand think most of the things over to him. I yeah. will begin in, well, whenever we're ready, I guess. I guess that means, I guess it leaves it to me to do the countdown. <sighs> I gotta do everything. Alright, I'm ready to count down. In five, four, three, two, one, let's go. So, um, Dragonac, you want to start explaining things? Sure. Okay, so what he did there, you saw him click on the uh, old man over on the right, um, go into a passage screen and come right back out. Um, what that's doing is resetting the RNG to a very fixed state. Um, this way, uh, this is what makes scroll manipulations entirely possible. Um, and he's going to do this multiple times during the course of the run. And what's going to happen here is uh, Starbird is going to kill that first enemy is going to try and get these two killed here and he sh and they'll hopefully get a scroll right there scrolls in this game um, increase your movement speed um, after one scroll you double the speed to two pixels per frame you start at one pixel you increase to two after um, you increase to two after grabbing a w one scroll after a second scroll you increase to three after a third scroll you increase to four um, what Starbird's trying to do here is get uh, get up to four scrolls like they did right there. Um, they want to grab the money. They want to grab this money. We we absolutely need that. And then uh, we're gonna take this over and grab the glove, which is the block moving item for Zem here. Zem um, Zem's block moving item is by far the most difficult to use properly um, because uh, you have to move blocks instead of actually. Of just breaking them or doing other things with them, and uh, this item is required for Zem to be able to complete his area. So we're gonna take that glove. We're gonna need to equip it. Um, now I haven't seen it. Starbird has done some revisions to this route recently, um, and I have not seen all of those revisions. So I'm not sure if Starbird is going to go back to the house or if they're going to hit an inn for it instead. Yeah, what we're going to do is, and I'm going to grab that cross because I may get a lucky scroll with any luck. Oh, me, I'm just going to get poison the rest of the way. <laughs> That's the reason I grab that um, chest first, as I, or the money chest before I actually go get the glove, is because um, when you're maxed out on money nearly, you have better chances of getting your lucky scrolls. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like I'm going to get too much in the way of lucky scrolls. Uh, what I do, I do hit the in at the bottom of the ladder. Um, to get the glove, and I absolutely need it there because I also buy the key stick here with the help of our um, our dragon, who is not named Dragon Dark, which I <laughs> we will show that here momentarily. Uh, probably gonna get a bunch of that. Get out there, thank you. Yeah, the old. I know um, when you were showing me the old old route, you would get the crystal first, then use uh, use that at the end once you got the glove, but. Um, you know, one crystal's enough. <laughs> so I will. Yeah, the second crystal in Mena's area is not super easy to get your hands on anyway. Yeah, it's a little out of the way, but not that much. But, I mean, the, the second crystal is the first one in her area is, um, not, is not fun. Because you do have to go way out of your way. 
Oh, there's a lucky taquito. Oh, we always we like to see lucky taquitos. Yes, we do. I seem to get or get lucky taquitos with um, Zem here, but at least around that spot. So it makes me wonder if it's actually lucky at all, <laughs> or if I'm just being where I need to. The only thing is, will I be able to get it by the time I get um, chest scroll? Uh, the only thing is, I gotta rely on our dragon helpers here to move me. Thank you. Oh, so by the key step. Yeah, I call them Durgans. They're mini Durgans. All right. Oh nope, I didn't. Unfortunately, didn't get there in time to the chest scroll. Also, as a rule of thumb in the, in this run, uh, if you see a lucky taquito, you go back for it. One ten out of ten times because yeah. it is always going to be faster to sacrifice those that second or two to go back for a scroll than it is to um, than it is to just keep going without it. Yes. So now I gotta hope that my um, scroll luck or my, my scroll time um, holds up. It's a chest scroll, so it actually lasts for a minute. Um, because I'm gonna be doing a block clip here, um, and hopefully, um, get it outright and not mess up the um, block positionings. All right. Oh, there we go. Okay. I didn't say this wasn't glitchless. I just said no pause jump. <laughs> <laughs> I had legit almost forgotten about that glitch because I haven't used it in so long. <laughs> I know it's like the it's the only spot where I actually uh, can reliably use it. Uh, the rest of this is, um, um, yeah. This is why uh, I'm like there's only like two people that run this category because um, this is actually not a. Um, just the first level alone, because of having used the power glove, this is not um, uh, very controller friendly. We'll just put it that way. Yeah, this is a, I will probably make this is a difficult category. Yeah, I will probably make this look a lot more difficult than it actually is, though. Key, yeah, that's fine. So I do need to grab this potion here. I don't absolutely need it, but uh, then again, you kind of have no choice but to grab it anyway. <laughs> Yes, um, unless you have, like, four sc scroll speed four here, you can't clear that gap, so you're just going to end up falling on it every time. <laughs> and here's the soft lock danger. There we go, we're clear. <laughs> um, yeah, if you... Um, it actually is, help, is beneficial to grab that anyway uh, for Pochi's area. Because um, I find I do... I basically... Ma or he's got rapid fire for his magic, and it's easy to burn through all of his magic and um, not have it in time for the boss, so... Uh, yeah, you're limited uh, to the number of shots you can have on screen based on character. Um, Zem can only have one, Mana can have two, Lil and Roas can both have three. Um, Pochi, I don't quite know how many Pochi can have because Pochi has such a short distance um, to his... Uh, to his actual shot range that it's really difficult um, to actually max him out. <laughs> Yeah, uh, I think it's three or four, somewhere around there. God, I haven't uh, seen block puzzles actually done in so long now. I know. <laughs> yeah, I mean, when you're watching, I'm like, wow, this is what you're actually supposed to do to get through this area? Yeah, this is the intended way of doing this. Like, so, for those who haven't seen the, seen speedruns of this game, any percent uses Lil for this area instead. Um, there's a couple of spots in here that are kind of... It, that kind of hint at you sp um, forcibly using Zem for this whole area, but we can do it with, uh, we can do it with Lil because Lil has, um, Lil has, um, because we have pause jumping, and we can just completely avoid having, to, we can just bypass a couple of things that we otherwise wouldn't, and Lil can just break all the blocks, so we don't have to do any of this stuff. This Whereas is not an area um, I want to lucky taquito, by the way. Wow, that's one of the worst places to get a lucky taquito. Yeah. But yeah, like for any percent, we do this with we do this with Lil instead because it's way faster. Yeah, because if I mess up here, I have one more shot to do it before I have to actually reset the room. And Lucky Taquito here is actually very difficult to control. Which I never complain about him, but um, I'm complaining about it there. Another issue is that um, when you saw Starbird going across that gap there, trying to move the block all the way across, um, only one block can be moving or breaking at, at a time. And if there's and if one of the blocks up at the top that he was jumping into that was disappearing, if one of those is still disappearing, um, you can't you can't cause your block the block below him to move. So Zem 
just it, you'll you'll start to walk to the right, you know, you start to walk to the left, and the block won't move with you, and you you just walk right off the edge of it. Yeah, and so that's probably the hardest um, block or block trick in the in this game. You know, I'm gonna grab the life for safety, so I don't actually have to spend into an inn later. I'm gonna try and conserve what magic I have. And now yeah. we actually get to do this puzzle the uh, the intended way. Oh come on! Yeah, this puzzle here. This is the section where they basically um, intend for you to use Zem, because as I mentioned earlier. Zem's glove does not use magic, whereas all the other characters' block moving items do use magic. Um, and for any other character, you have to use that, you have to burn that magic potion in this room in order to even get all the way through it. Zem doesn't have to do that, and that's sort of them saying, yeah, you're not supposed to use anybody else with this. Yeah, and one thing that's, that's definitely fun is trying to use Mana in this level, or in this part. Oh, Lord. Mana <laughs> takes forever to get through this, because. Mana can only move one block at a time, and it takes a while for the blocks to stop. Uh, I, 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 think, I think one of the previous um, tool assistant speedruns actually timed it out. It takes like four minutes to do this room, I think. Yeah. Awesome. You got, you got some time for me to throw in a couple of things here, then, for this ludicrous Absolutely. room? Absolutely. Go for it. Awesome. Well, a ludicrous room needs a ludicrous donation, right? So yes. how about... Chiron HR with the $100 donation. Welcome, hype! And thank you for that one very, very much. And uh, would also like to point out that Dravenheart posted something in uh, chat here. Um, coming up after the uh, Divinity run next, uh, we're going to have a little bit of a talk with Dr. Rachel, Rachel Cowart about, her, uh, about an essay in the book, The Psychology of Final Fantasy. Um, if you have questions about this essay or this book, uh, go to the Twitter address and uh, ask a question, and it might get answered right here on stream. I will take a lucky scroll there, though. <laughs> that that's a good lucky taquito to get. That is. You gonna you gonna go up and get safety butt bread before fighting the boss? Um, I do not know. I probably will just because I'm getting a little low, and Terran tunes actually can kill me. <laughs> I do, um, I do not want to use, I may actually say an in, but I haven't decided yet. Yeah, Zem is probably the worst character for fighting bosses, only because Zem is limited to only one shot on screen at a time. And, uh, for, bo for enemies, and the way damage works in this game is that, um, your shot does damage for every frame that it is in, in an enemy's hitbox. And every other character can kind of just load up on, can just load the screen up with shots and, you know, have a permanent shot inside of the boss at all times. Whereas Zem can't do that. Zem has to wait for that one shot to disappear before you fire another one. So it leads to it being a little bit more tricky with Zem, although Zem's shots do do a lot of damage. Zem and Pochi, by default, do the highest amounts of damage um, at three. Um, so Zem can do a lot of damage in a hurry. Uh oh Damage in a hurry? Yeah, he can. Especially if he's got the power knuckle equipped on him. Oh, yeah. Power knuckle, 12 damage per frame? Yeah, that's a lot. All and right. There's nothing wrong with your screen. That is the intended way of getting into the boss room. It just, <laughs> it just looks like a zip glitch, but it's not. All right. Well, we got we got the hardest dungeon. Down. Well, I wouldn't say the hardest dungeon, but the most annoying because of the glove. The the longest one. We'll call it that. Yeah. Well, Mana's dungeon is still pretty long too, but Mana's is really long. Play. But when you're doing Zem Zem's area with Zem, I'd say Zem's is longer. All right. That's time for everyone's favorite animal. It's Pochi. Oh baby. Actually, I will take that just in case. Oh yeah, we all love Pochi. <laughs> Pochi the adorable puppy. Yeah. AKA he has to go pink angry dinosaur. So Pochi's uh, a character you don't really see in speedruns that much because um Pochi has a very a very low um distance to his shot to his shots. So it's a little difficult to do the manipulations, and Pochi doesn't really have any other advantages to using him outside of the fact that he doesn't take damage from monsters. But we have a but we have a way that we can get by um, the one thing that basically makes Pochi's area Pochi's area. 
Um, but I'll, I'll talk about that when we actually get there. Um, right now, the, the, thi the big thing about Pochi's area is that all the damage, do all the enemies do a ton of damage. Um, so any other character coming through here is gonna take, is just gonna go down like a, go down like a sack of potatoes. Um, Pochi, on the other hand, can just walk through everything and not care. Yeah, he's like, this is, this is fine. It's like, hi buddies, how you doing? Hey, Fred, what's going on? How's the kids? But that's supposed to be like Pochi's selling point, is just, Pochi doesn't take damage from monsters. And that's how they're kind of indicating you're supposed to be using Pochi for this area. And all, all the areas in this game are built around one character. Um, Zem's area was built around the block puzzles with using utilizing the glove. Pochi's area is built around dam highly damaging monsters, and Pochi just not taking damage from it. And then the other two characters, Lil and Mena, which we'll be seeing after this, have areas designed around them as well. Um, this area, in any other category, is extremely dangerous. Uh, because if you don't have scroll speed, you're going to end up dead before you reach the end of it. And... Speaking of scrolls... <laughs> The, like the oh wow nice nice lucky taquito there Holy crap, yeah the problem, really good the problem is there. i i am low on keys i've got enough to get through this but i'm gonna have to um key grind uh, a bit before i go back to the house mm, yeah and there's that problem with also the taquito <laughs> it's hard hitting this this jump here with a with a scroll I this jump is at least a little bit easier with Pochi than it is with um, than it is with Lil. Yeah, but in the pause jump category, if you miss the jump, you just pause back, jump back up. Yeah, true. All right, so yeah, I got just enough keys to finish the dungeon, but I do have, I will have to get two more keys before I go back to the house. I'm getting nervous with you walking through this room, even though I know Pochi can't take any damage from any of this stuff. <laughs> oh, there's something, there, some, um, some nervous just don't die. In in any percent, we do this area with Lil, and Lil, the, the the enemies in that room that I was talking about do 40 damage a hit, and you usually get there without enough, um, you get there with, without enough damage to actually t enough health to take even a single hit, and it's just nerve wracking because you can't dodge anything in there. Um, also, in the very last room before Starbird picked up the crown, or in the room with the crown, I should say, all those mimic chests that he that, that Starbird was jumping through, um, those all do a hundred damage. So that's kind of the indicator you're supposed to use Pochi for the area that you just can't get through that. But um, in any percent, we get around that by just burning an elixir there and taking a revive. Alright, let's see if I can hit this one up. Okay, so next we have Lil. Lil is the daughter. Um, Lil's specialty is, you'll notice the jump height of 26. Um, Lil can jump quite high, and um, far and away the uh, high, uh, highest jumper in the game. Um, this is why Lil is so useful for speedruns, um, because it allows her to get all the way around. It allows her to bypass a lot of things the other characters simply can't. Yeah, I missed that one. Oh, yeah. Okay, so that first that first manipulation there, um, that first manipulation is sometimes kind of difficult to get. Um, we saw we, we saw Starbird get poison from the enemy, which meant um, they were a little bit late on killing it. Um, if you get money from that, you were a little bit early. That's, it's kind of an indicator of whether or not where, where you got the scroll, but I believe that's only a two-frame window to actually hit that manipulation proper. Um, and if you miss that one, it is almost always faster to just go back to the house and try and reset the RNG and try again than it is to keep going. I got the scroll, but I bonked. I'm going to try one more time, though. Because I don't think I would have gotten the... Um, I would not have gotten the second scroll um, that way. No, you wouldn't have been able to. That's, and like I said, I just barely... I'm also using a controller I'm not used to as well, so... <laughs> yeah, I, that has it. an effect on things with runs like yeah, this. Yeah, it does. I'll let the scroll speed wear out. Okay. Although I wonder if I could have stacked scroll speed. <laughs> if I could have just stacked... No. I'm going to try one more time, and if not, I'm just going to go. Which is going to suck, but... You know, yeah, I'm almost wondering now if uh, if it would work like that, but I think the, the shots get fired off too quickly after one scroll. You get one scroll, go back to the house, um, get your items, come back while you still have scroll speed, and um, get the next one. 
I think for I think for Lil it would be a problem because Lil wouldn't have enough really have enough damage to get the uh, to get the enemy down in the right spot. I think other characters might be able to pull it off. One. Okay. Okay, no bonk that time. We're gonna get the second scroll off this scorpion here. Oh, well, I'm going, I'm going. I missed the cross. I was a little early. Yeah, that was probably about one or two frames too early on that one. Yep, that happens. That's the name that's the name of scroll manipulation in this game though. It's interesting because I was looking at it and I'm like, wait, which manip? And then I realized you were doing the um, any percent poachy poachy's area manip. Yeah, um, because um, what was there? I had a reason for that too, and I don't remember now why I did that and not the knuckle manip. I think it's because um, I don't end up go or because the um, other manip usually ends up going to the Zem's area and getting chest scroll, where there's no more chest scroll here. So <laughs> right. So I think that's why I go Pochi's area minute. Oh, now for a section of the game that's not normally seen in any other speedruns, um, we have to go this way to buy the uh, spring shoes, because we can't pause jump and we need to be able to jump high. Even yep. higher than Lil can already jump. Yeah, and, and um, Roaz also needs to use these shoes because he has to come to this area. <laughs> and if he comes, if he can manage to get to this area um, um, without the spring shoes, he ends up, he might end up soft, oh shoot, he might end up soft locking himself. I need help from Monster Bro over here though, come on, come here, Pink Crade, get over here, thank you. Pink Crade, that's, that's a new one for that enemy. There's, and there's Green Crade, it's his brother right there. Alright, yeah, um, the other way is to break those blocks up top, but it's actually, uh, you're actually better off, um, relying on uh, monster boosting there. And I almost bought the potion and not the... Um, I need to get more gold, though. I am low on gold. Okay, I got enough to get through this dungeon anyway. I'll probably... I probably will get a little bit more gold, but... I'm definitely not at a comfortable level. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna need a bit more for this. Yeah. And I did it again. Because at the very least, we need to stay in, in in this area to be able to equip those um to be able to equip those uh, spring shoes we just bought. Yeah, which is, that's going to be coming up here in a moment. If I don't, and I if I forget to do it, then I end up um. <laughs> okay, I'm going to grab it. Last time I came here, I got the scroll, and it's like, ooh, scroll! I should have stayed at the end before I grabbed that scroll. <laughs> All right, so now we're going to get the spring shoes. I've got enough gold to get me by. Um, to get me by this level anyway, but when it comes to the next level, I'm a little... Um, I'm a little worried. And I don't want to have to go back to get... Um, step back too far to get gold, which I probably will here, which I probably should have waited, but... Oh well, okay, so I should be fine here. If only we actually had enough money to buy the wings in Mana's area, we could just skip this entire detour down here to get them. Yeah, I know. Well, I still get the key down here. Or the, um, 20 key chest. True, but, but that's not, like, essential? Yeah, it wouldn't It wouldn't necessarily be essential at that point, because, uh, Mana can just use the key stick for everything. But it does help in getting lucky scrolls, because it's like, the game's like, hey, you got 20 keys, you don't need any more. <laughs> But this entire detour down here um, is primarily to pick up the wings from Mana. Um, and it is possible to just buy the wings in Mana's area right before you need them. Um, so this whole section could theoretically be cut out, but the problem is the wings cost 95 gold. Yeah, and it's only bu uh, buyable in one shop. Alright, let's see if I can actually... I got the lucky scroll, let's see if I can actually um, get... I don't think I can get to the... Um... I, especially if I keep doing stuff like that. I don't think I can get to the chest scroll in time. Oh, I did. Nice. Nice. Yeah, and now... <laughs> now the fun part. Probably another area you haven't seen in a really long time. <laughs> you, you're showing me a lot of areas that I haven't seen in a long time. Intended routes, right? Intended routes? Who does that? Yeah, I know. I don't know why I developed this category, to be honest. I really ought to sit down at some point and see if I can 
do some work on it. The the first time you run this, you're gonna you're gonna get like a sub thirty, just because it's you. Well, I I feel I feel like this could be done zemless. That would be great if it could. Like I but... think you get enough jump height that you could pull it off with the shoes. I don't yeah. know. That's a good question. All right, I don't think I can get. I don't think I'm going to be able to get to the, um... Yep, yeah, I lost the... I lost speed just before I could get to the, um... The bad jump. But I hit oh, it anyway, yeah. so... This jump is awful as Lil, and unfortunately, Lil is the only character that can get over there. Um, what, what you saw happen there, Starboard jumped, um, in a seemingly odd point where there's just solid ground, but two of those blocks were actually fake, and you can't walk on them. Um, and Lil's jump height is so high that it's actually really hard to make that jump. You have, I think, a two-frame window to be able to jump over it. Um, the, uh, ooh, that was getting a little sketchy. Yeah, I took that first hit, and I was like, oh, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. Now, what are, Arcwinger is, if you, if you go in there with a scroll, you're, you're dead. <laughs> That's all I can say, don't go in there with a scroll if you can help it. What actually threw me off more was that arc was that archwinger started moving away from you, and it looked like the distance was just far enough that your shots weren't going to be connecting anymore. I was worried you were going to run out of magic. Uh, yeah, that was my fear too. Oh well, it all worked out. So now we're going to be using Mena. Mena is more is kind of like a wizard. Um, medium damage shots. Like, only does two damage per shot. It's the only character that actually has the medium damage. No. Um, medium distance on the shots, uh, medium jump height. Like, all around average, but has a lot of items that are specific to her. Um, namely, the three you see up there um, in the item window. We have the wings, the crossbow, and the key stick. Um, the wings, uh, mostly self-explanatory. The wings do. The wings allow Mana to fly. It just turns off gravity, so you can just walk in any direction. Um, the key stick just unlocks doors without needing a key. You can just use a point of magic instead. Um, the crossbow is Mena's block moving item, and instead of just moving it one space like Zem's glove or breaking it like Lil's Matic, it flings it across the screen, killing anything in its path and damaging you if it touches you. Um, but that's the only that's the only way she can move blocks. Okay, there's good. There's one scroll. We're back to scroll manipulation, by the way. There's one scroll. Yeah, there is scroll up. number two. Yeah, I messed it up, but I'm going to grab the money anyway. It's all right. Ah, yeah. This, like this one's a little bit on that. Yeah, I did. But it's all right. This, this manip is a bit tricky to hit properly, and this one actually goes on for a while, too. Um, if, you're, if you manipulate the whole thing, you would get a scroll basically off of that. You get a scroll basically off that red tomato at the edge of the screen, um, and you come in here, and you'd actually follow that spider to about where we're standing right now, and you get another scroll right there. Um, and it's not, it's very not easy. This is probably one of the longest, um, manips we have, and it's complex enough that it's difficult to actually hit the whole thing. Yeah, hitting two with this is, um, tricky enough. Um, three is like, <laughs> oh my god, what am I doing? Um, four, I'm like, uh, wow. <laughs> then five, it's like, um, I, I retire. It ain't gonna get any better than this. Grab a little bit more money. This area right here is actually really good for farming money. There's just so many enemies clustered, you can usually get a bunch of kills with only a, with only a few points of magic. Yeah, this is and this is probably the best music in the game, in my opinion, also. I think the only downside of this area is that you don't you, you don't have any room in your inventory for the power knuckle, which can usually save you some magic, since Mana will usually take it's usually like one or two shots to kill things, um, and or sometimes three, depending on what way they're walking, or if the, it's that red enemy over on the right side. Um, but the power knuckle can sometimes save you magic because you'll only need generally one shot to kill anything. Um, whereas without it, you might need three, sometimes even four shots to kill things. Yeah, my health's getting. I'm getting a little nervous with my health right now. I think I'm gonna take the. I'm gonna take the bread up here for safety. If I was going for PB, I'd say yeah, I'm just going. I'm probably going to end up taking the uh, magic, too. Hey, more safety butt bread is never a bad thing. We we all enjoy the, the loaf. 
Also, oh, Starboard chose to fly there at the at that very end, um, at the end of the room there, because there's an invisible enemy that does a lot of damage if you touch it. Um, and they didn't want to take, they didn't want to hit it and do a whole bunch of damage to themselves. Oh, look at that money! I will take it. <coughs> Excuse me. So you can see right there what Mana's block moving item does. It just flings it across the screen and it just keeps going for a while. Um, it's yeah, one of the it's reasons fun. we will never do Zem's area with Mana because it takes a long time for that thing to stop bouncing. Yeah. <laughs> it's fun though. I, I always admit that's probably my favorite block moving item just because of how fun it is. But you, you take damage on the rebound though. That's the only bad part. Yeah. You take a lot of damage on the rebound. <laughs> It's only a point. Well, it's only a point until you have to stand there and take like five hits, and then it's now now it's five points. Iframes. That's what I'll just use the iframes. <laughs> that's what Apple invented them for, right? Well, More that, That's our story, and we're sticking to it. Right. Oop, lucky scroll. Lucky taquito. I forget they're not um. They have taquitos. They are not um. Why am I winging? I should have just fell. Come on. Select button. Work for me, please. Thank you. Select button being uncooperative? Oh, yes. I the, the t er, It, it could have been uncooperative when I had normal speed, but no, it decides to do it when I have Lucky Taquito. Oh, of course. It wants, to co it wants to cost you time. I swear, all controllers are just out there to get all speedrunners. Exactly. I mean, we only go through, like, a million of them. It's like we're making we're making the controllers, uh, or the controller company's money. All right, 40 gold should be enough for me to get the game. I'm usually... Yeah, that's actually more than enough. At this point, if I can get 30, I'm usually happy. But... Yeah, it should be two two more ends with Mana, and then ideally, in theory, only... I mean, realistically, probably only one with Roas? Maybe even yeah, I don't... Um, I usually like to... Um, if it gets dicey in... Um, if it gets dicey in um, Lil's area with Roas, then I will... Um, Stay in, in, which it's very easy for it to get dicey in there. Yeah, because you're at the mercy of an enemy moving into a good position, so you can actually get up to a certain. Uh, yeah, that's actually the intended route. You actually need the enemy to be in that spot. I looked to see if every if there was actually a portrait that. Uh, why am I going for that cross? If there was actually a portrait that would lead to the other side, or if there was another place I could go. No, nope, you actually have to rely on an enemy boost in order to um, get there. Yep. That That is intended. Alright, I need to make sure I at least have 23 keys before the final area. So I'm, trying, I'm still trying to figure out what those enemies back there were. They look like tomatoes with gloves on their heads? Um, Glove-matoes. That's what I'm going to call them. Glove-matoes. I don't know. <laughs> Perfect. Glove-mato. I like it. Hey, I actually made it without having... I'm trying to give all the enemies names. They, they do all have technical names that you can see in the credits, but it's just it. more fun to come up with names on the spot. Alright, where are you? I... Yeah, right there. I can never remember where these are. All that right. one, that one, I actually just line up because um, that one I just line up because it's right at the edge of those um, two sets of spikes. Yeah, I just saw that. All right, I actually have plenty of health, but that'll probably disappear rather quickly. Hmm, I almost wonder if it would be if any percent could go left and have it be faster. Like I've never actually even considered that. I don't know. I thought I, I, I. You mean after that first block? Yeah. Usually, usually we go right, um, and then just double then back a little bit. Yeah, I, I used to do that too. I probably still could. I should have enough life to get through here. If not, there's an in. But you should be okay. I think this is usually what I come in here with. Yeah. You, you can kill the second two enemies without um, getting hit. Oh, that's actually good to know. <laughs> yeah, the three enemies on that on that bottom row. The first the first one is invulnerable till you touch it. The second two are not. All right, let's see if I got enough magic. Oh, I did that wrong completely. I was supposed to go front and back, and I wasn't even paying attention because I was like, "Oh, do I have enough magic to um, 
to get through here. Yes, I do have enough magic, but... Alright, I still managed to get it to go. I'm gonna have, like, nothing left, which is fine. Hey, you're, al you're alive, and you're gonna make it to the end. That's what matters. Yep. Alright, well... <laughs> Whew, that that was something else. Yeah, that was that was a little that was a little scary. <laughs> that yeah, th this is welcome to me playing this game. Uh, <laughs> scary is my middle name. No, I, I don't want to go back in there. I do want to grab extra bread though. I was, I was just I just had to stop for a second. I'm like, like, why are they taking the wing? Oh right, no pause jump. <laughs> yep. I mean, technically, if, we, if, if for any percent, if we were going for a, like a record or something, um, we would we would take the wings as well because it's faster than using a pause jump to get out of there. But for like marathons, we would use we would actually skip not we would just not not take the wings, um, and you and just uh, pause jump our way out of there in just so we could have the extra inventory space because we really want to have the elixir for this fight. This fight is very dangerous. Um, this is Rock Gaia. Rock, Di Rock Gaia does 40 damage per hit, whether you touch him or whether you uh, touch a touch one of his bullets. Um, you want the elixir here, because um, we haven't really talked about this, but um, a boss can kill you after they're dead, because they have the death animation where they kind of flip up into the air and then fall off the screen. Um, the problem is they're still firing bullets that entire time. And they can basically kill you from beyond the grave. And in this game, ties go to the boss. Um, and yeah, that area that... is a really long area. <laughs> so it's really scary to walk in there and um, to have Rock Gaia push you close to death. Because that's a huge time loss, having to redo that entire section. Yeah, I forgot to equip the elixir after I killed him, too. Thankfully, I didn't take a single hit from him, so that was lucky. <laughs> Yeah, you had you had one you had one you had one safety hit at least. A um, little more dangerous. Usually you'll walk in there and he'll hit you at least once while you're waiting while you're trying to um, kill him, um, and you don't have that safety hit, and that makes it very easy to just lose it right afterwards. Now the fun part: doing this the intentional way. Yeah, this. So they send you in the. <laughs> In order to get the, the uh, Dragon Slayer, which is what you need to activate the final boss, you need to take Roas here into Lil's area. Lil's area was intended to be done with a character that can both jump high and break blocks. Um, Roas can jump high with the spring shoes, but cannot break blocks. So you have to take a really convoluted path to get down to where you're supposed to go. Um, in any percent, we just skip this, entire skip this entire section and pause jump our way up to where we're supposed to go. Um, but we can't do that here. We have to take the intended path, and boy, is this an intended path. <laughs> yeah, intended. This is, um, and these things actually hit pretty hard, too. Alright, so, can, uh, can you, no, he's not gonna cooperate. Alright, so this is, I need Blob Boy here to help me. Yeah, he was, he was cooperative. I almost thought that was All like right. a turtle shell, but. And let's not yeah. forget about the, um, don't forget to hold left here, else you're going to fall down and have to do this all over again. Yeah, so jumping uh, by that volcano, jumping up there, you are intended to take a, a boost from an enemy there. Like, you have to. And I am going to go to the house for safety. And then um, that la the last one that took the w that took that took Starwood uh, to the top of that pillar, um, that last one, if you're not holding left, you just fall down the pillar. You fall down the whole thing. <laughs> yeah, <can't>. you... <laughs> <laughs> it's it's a massive troll if you don't know what's coming. Yeah, and I've I've fallen prey to that a few times, but that's uh, <laughs> that's quite a um a, quite a fun one to go through. We also don't take the portrait after picking up the dragon slayer because that takes you deep into Pochi's area, and nobody wants to try and escape from Pochi's area. Oh god, yeah, this is why we have the crystal to begin with. Of course I get a scroll. Actually, by the the scroll's fine here. Um, the only thing is you can't... If you actually try and activate the portrait with the scroll, you can't. You cannot go into the final boss with scroll speed. Uh, you you actually can with every scroll speed. With one and three, it's actually really easy because you'll always hit the right pixel. 
Um, it's scroll speeds two and four that are the problem, because you have to line yourself up very specifically in order to do it. Ah, uh, that's probably what it was. It took me like an hour of working on it to try and figure out how to get scroll speed two to work. But anyway, here's the final boss. This is uh, Dragon King Kila. Um, a large chunk of this fight is just get under, uh, get where, get where the fire breath can't hit you, and uh, mash away. Unfortunately, uh, again, ties go to the boss, and after you kill the boss, the boss's corpse will like. And collapse. ties coming up. Time. GG. Oh, that wasn't that bad. So you can see, you can see Keela's corpse sitting there, and if you're in that corpse when it collapses, and it collapses a bit forward, so if you're directly underneath Keela, um, it collapses forward, lands on you, and you just instantly die. So you you can mash you can mash Keela down from from within that safe spot for a little bit, but you have to get out and do the last shots from outside from just outside of range of it, or you will, or unfortunately, Keela will take you out. Thirty-eight, forty. You know something? If I hadn't messed up, if I had actually hit those scroll manipulations perfectly, that would have been a world record. <laughs> I lost so much time having to go back and forth, especially with Pochies. Yeah, that's just how we. I think it was Lil's you retried like a few times, or maybe it was Mana. Yeah, I think one. I did. It was it was one of them. <laughs> no, Mana's I hit those I hit scroll speeds there, scroll two, and I was going for three, and I bonked somewhere, and I said I'm just going. Right, right. But thirty eight forty or the thirty eight is actually not that bad considering uh, my PB right now is thirty seven thirty six for this category, so. Just knowing that, it's like, oh, if I had just hit it, I could have had two world records during this marathon. That would have been great. I guess I'm just going to have to try and get world record in ALF tomorrow, right? That's <laughs> 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 fun. Oh, I'm sad now. Well, didn't, you, didn't you say you had two games left? Yeah, I got ALF and I got Fantasy Star, and I don't think I'm getting the record in Fantasy Star right now. Because the record on that right now, especially with the new route discovered, was is a, an, an hour and eight. Oh, wow. And it's really good. So, and I haven't learned the route yet, so. <laughs> Margie, I can't play it again. There's not time for me. We gotta, we gotta let other people play. I gotta give other people the controller. You know, we might have time for one more thing before you head out. What's that? A poem by Margaret. Would you like to be serenaded by a po with a poem by Margaret? I would love to be serenaded by a poem. Awesome. Well, Margaret donated a total of $25 for this poem, probably because there was a lot a lot of uh, character limits, but here we go. <clears throat> I wandered lonely as a cloud that glitched past guards and fiends. I pushed my way through gathered crowds who, under rotting pizza, seemed to lose all hope and fade away. While Sephiroth I sought to slay in a town at base of mountain trail, the same I'd oft trod in my youth. In memory still I hear the wail of silver soldier learning truth. Even now the flames reach towards the sky when I, in quiet, close my eyes. The beasts, they roar and rear in rage, louder than engines on the road. My speed has fallen off the gauge. I've cha I'm chased by demons, other sowed. I draw my blade and hold my breath. Ear poison drops me near to death. And lo, there I in the life stream stand, my chiseled foe with silver hair. Before me in this nightmare land, we end this now and everywhere. And in his emerald gaze I see the truth. The lonely man is me. All I can say to that. Fair Thank you very much for that, Margaret. <laughs> that is beautiful, Margaret. Shout-outs to Produce. Oh, it's already gone by. <laughs> Shout-outs to Produce. Shout-outs to the enemy called Memes. Yeah, and the, fl and the Fail Snail. The Fail Snail. Absolutely the Fail Snail. Absolutely. And the um, Yuzo Koshiro for the banging soundtrack, of course. Oh, yeah. This is, a, this is a really good soundtrack. I would recommend listening to this to anybody. One of, one of Koshiro's first. I don't think it was his first. It was one of his first, though. It was early. But it was still it was really good. good. Yes. So, other than that, um, I appreciate everyone um, bearing with me on this one today. <laughs> um, and Dragon Doc, thank you again for coming to 